All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B. Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another oh, and the time has finally come. Your boy is crossing over to the dark side in this video. I'm sure y'all have seen the thumbnail, you read the title, y'all already know what's on the way. But in addition to that, I finally got this shoe in. I ordered it early, it took forever, but it has finally landed and the early heat pack is sitting right by itself, right there in that small box. But before we get into that, your boy did catch a dub, and I gotta say salutes to Walmart. I'm even surprised that I got it on time. But before we do that, you already know what time it is, man. The real MVP, the choir stand. And now I wanna be honest, the choir stand has held a lot of things, but that bad boy in there is thick. So today it will be a real test for this thing right here. Matter of fact, let me let me grab the box. Can it do it? Can it hold? Oh, I think we're good. Now, like I said, I was able to hit on a pre-order for this thing right here. And let's just go ahead and break into this big box. Let me try not to cut the box up. Because again, this is a big moment. You guys know I'm usually an Xbox guy. But ever since I bought my PC, my Xbox has definitely been collecting dust. Matter of fact, we should be able to just go ahead and pop it open. Yes, sir. It is here and it says play like never before. The last time I owned a PlayStation was the PS2. After the PS2 hit the 360 and then from the 360 got the One X and then from the One X I upgraded to the Scorpio. But this time I wanted to try something different. Got my receipt and packing code right here. And since it is a white box, y'all should already know what time it is. And this thing does have some, some weight to it for sure. But we were able to go ahead and secure a PS5 like I said. This box is humongous, and I have been checking out the videos, and the shit looks big. Now, just so I don't drop the goddamn thing out of the box, let me just go ahead and oof, pop that tape open, flip it open, and inside is another, another box. All over white has the PlayStation logo, as y'all can see. And, um, I mean, it's time. Pop it open, open this thing up, and I gotta say, too, I do like the design of the PS5 over the Xbox. I feel like the Xbox is cool. It's a black little cube, but y'all know I like the weird shit and I feel like the PS5 was filling that weird shit void for me. Inside of this first little insert, I definitely want to see this controller because I always thought that the Xbox controller was definitely better than the new PlayStation controller, but this one, they killed it. This joint is fire. I feel like I'm gaming in the future when I use this type of controller right here. Sony L1 R1. This is, this controller is fire, bro. And of course it's that brand new controller. So we're gonna have to definitely um, break these sticks in for sure. So for the millionth time, there's another look at the brand new PlayStation 5 controller. And then you got your quick start guide, your power cables, okay. Now what we wanna see is inside the box. And if we slide it out, being careful not to drop the whole thing on the ground after I waited so long for it, it is here inside the wrapping. If we take this off the sleeve, unwrap it. And yes, your boy is finally back on the dark side. The PS5, man, this thing is huge. I don't know if y'all can tell by comparison. This joint is about the size of my goddamn torso. This joint is thick, boy. And I did just go ahead and get the disc version of it. I did just, I like the look of the disc one. And all in all, I just like the look of the console in general. I don't know if I'm gonna have it sitting on its side or just sitting straight up. When you're sitting it straight up, this joint is like crazy tall. And then of course the back, you have the vents and everything. Just a quick close up look so you guys can see exactly how it looks on the front as well as the back. A lot of black gloss on the front as well. The bottom, of course, it has like the little screw in for where you're screwing the stand and everything, but I'm not gonna get too heavily into it. I just did wanna unbox it on camera at least and document the moment in time where Bull bought a PS5 or a PlayStation before an Xbox. And if y'all don't know, I will be live tonight on twitch.tv forward slash bulletrc. And if I can figure out a good way to give out some copies of Black Ops Cold War, I will. A lot of people came through the stream yesterday, so if you did not know, now you know, make sure you're coming through. And maybe you can get yourself a free copy of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And um, I'm probably gonna end up connecting this to my PC. I'm probably gonna play a game or two on this before I hop on Black Ops Cold War because I'm gonna be playing on my PC during tonight's stream. So the gameplay and stuff, I will have it for you. But yes, sir, the PS5 has been secured and I did buy it myself. I did not have to do anything crazy to get my girl to buy it for me. Now, since we got this PS5 out of the box, let's go ahead and get into the early heat. 
and let me place this in the background and make sure it's not gonna fall over. Okay, and we are back. The PS5 is sitting in the back looking ever so pretty. And of course we have the early pickup right here. And um, I mean, I am very interested to see what a size 12 yacht gang looks like in this shoe right here now these are going to be dropping very soon or may have already dropped depending on when you're seeing this video and i do plan to drop a review on it but i do have some other videos that i definitely need to shoot and if y'all look on the inside of the box it doesn't really tell you right off the rip what it is all over orange nike box for those who know you might already have guessed what is inside this box right here if we go ahead and take them out because they are pretty tightly packed get them out of here don't need the box nothing else in here toss that yes 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 the orange nike box and on the size and label it is my size size 12 and let's just go ahead and peep these bad boys out slide in the box open we got this little card in here don't need that and i'm gonna just let y'all peep them if i flip this down and flip this down right here yes sir them Sakai Vapor Waffles are finally here, finally in the studio. I went ahead and caught my pair because I have no faith, no faith at all in Nike sneakers. And this pair actually did come from Europe. I wish that on StockX, they actually just told you, not sponsored by the way, I wish they just told you that your package was getting shipped from overseas because that just means that it's gonna take a little bit longer and these things took longer than I expected them to. But of course you also have COVID, so you know, that's the thing. But this is the left shoe and I gotta say, these things are thick, my boy. Thick. And I definitely have been going ahead and peeping some videos on them. A lot of people are saying they run true to size. So I just went ahead and stuck with my 12. This doesn't really seem like a shoe that would fit like small or anything. It's definitely a lot going on with the pair. But as far as materials, a lot of mesh, a lot of suede. Doesn't seem like this would fit small regardless. And definitely the first thing that sticks out is that outsole. Because it's about like three outsoles glued together. And of course you have the beautiful duck bill on the back. These bad boys are talking already. I bought them talking. I bought them like that. You got that nice suede right there on the toe box, that heavy, heavy mesh. More suede near the eyelets, and you get two sets of laces, white and black. And one detail that I'm glad is correct on this shoe is that, yes, the swoosh is actually red. I know the color is like sport fuchsia, but it does look red in person. So if you're wondering if they are pinkish, no, you're good to go. They are blue and red, mad Forrest Gump vibes with this pair right here. And I will be looking to go ahead and grab a black pair as well. I do want to get both. Um, since I did pay the resale for these, my head got cracked like halfway open for this pair right here. I will at least be trying on Nike sneakers tomorrow for both pairs. I might actually have to have the whole fam go in for that size 12 for me because if I can avoid paying resale on that second pair, I would gladly, gladly appreciate it. Just like on the other waffles, you get that double tongue Sakai on the back, Nike sportswear on the front. And I gotta say, I know it's that weird shit, but this is is just something totally different than most of the stuff I have been copying all year, which is why I have been so excited to at least get a pair in and try them. With this big ass sole and shit, they definitely do kind of give that triple S vibe. Can't lie. But you get that triple S vibe for a lot less. I think this shoe is gonna retail for 180. Mine came from Europe, so the USD is now on the side. But I believe the retail for these is gonna be 180. And um, to me, man, this is definitely a cop. Last year, the year before that, I think the Sakai um, Waffles was my favorite shoe of the year. Do I think this is gonna be my favorite of the year? I don't know yet because I have not put them on. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and try on this right joint. And yeah, I can confirm if you're wondering, they do fit true to size. And um, these shits, they are thick on feet and my ankles is probably ashy, so don't mind that. I've been sitting inside all day, but yes, sir. The Sakai's have landed, baby. But hey, man, that is it. If you have not peeped the latest videos, make sure you go peep those more on the way. Pretty sure I'm gonna be dropping a new video on Saturday as well. And remember, I'm gonna try to give away a copy or two of Black Ops Cold War on Twitch tonight, but you guys let me know. Are y'all feeling these Sakai joints? Or are these joints 1 billion percent basura in your opinion? Y'all already know me, I like the weird shit, and these shits is definitely weird. That's it though, man. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is Bullet RC, by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, of course, Bullet RC, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And also, down below in the comments, let me know where you're able to hit on PS5 or an Xbox over this last week. I'm out of here, man. Much love. Peace. Ready. If you come here trying to
take some, there's a lot more where that came from And it really ain't no thing, I got some up here in this thing I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull and it really gave